Hello everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of Cadence 122. So in the previous lecture we have done the NMOS schematic simulation using Cadence 122 and today we will going to do the PMOS. Alright, so this is the PMOS schematic which we are going to simulate. Okay, I will just uh, delete this and I will open it from the scratch. Alright, I will create it on uh, from the scratch. So I will just delete it. So now see, uh, in the previous video, you have seen that how we can open a new library and uh, a new cell. So in the same library, ADCB in, I have uh, created a new cell that is PMOS. All right. So here, now uh, you need to press I for the instance. And in the cell view, you will click on browse. And here, whichever PDK you are using, for my case, I'm using GPDK 090. I am going to uh, have a PMOS. All right, so there is PMOS uh, one volt, uh, one V, and here is the symbol. So I will just uh, drop this PMOS here. All right, so now uh, for other things, I will again press I for the instance and go to browse for analog clip. And here I am going to first of all add VDC. Okay, so here uh, one VDC here and one VDC here. All right. Similarly, now I am going to add ground. All right, so here I am going to add a ground. All right, so here is our ground. Now see, uh, we are going to make a connection. Now uh, try to understand this thing that this is a PMOS circuit. All right, so for PMOS, this uh, terminal with this arrow is the source terminal. This is the gate. This is your drain terminal. All right, so here now we need to connect these voltages. Okay, I will just uh, give its name. First is VSG. Okay, and the value is 1.8. All right. And the second is VSG. Okay. So here I have named it accordingly because VSG that is source and gate voltage, VSG source and drain voltage. All right. So now see. Uh, the point is so that it becomes positive that's why I am going I have named it like source to gate and source to drain okay and we are going to make the connections like that only so here just press W for the wire you can see here it is from your source to gate all right so here uh, we will connect it to source all right and this terminal will be connected to gate okay again this one is from source to drain so here this is connected to source this one is connected to your drain all right and now here is a ground terminal so uh, just move it here and to rotate it just press r and then click again press r and then click again and you can see here it is yeah so it is connected that is our ground is connected as well so this is our circuit for the pmos okay you can see for now the width and length is 120 and 100 uh, and only okay i have not changed the width and uh, this is your pmos uh, this is your vsg and this is your vsg again we will click on check and save okay there is one error see let us see what is the error Okay, yeah, we forgot to uh, connect this substrate terminal. All right, so just press W and here and this should be connected to your source. All right, so just press check and save and see there are no errors now. All right, so again, go to launch ADEL. All right, so in ADEL, uh, we are going to do first, uh, we are going to select our uh, analysis and go to choose so we are going to do the dc analysis select component parameter component name let's say i select uh, vsg first okay i will select vsg I, we are going to do the dc analysis and i'm going to press okay all right so here again we have the component now uh, the sweep range which is from 0 to 1.8 sweep type let us do it uh, linear step size 0101 and press okay so here in the ADL we have our uh, setup. Now go to outputs, go to to be plotted, select on schematic. So let us plot VSG first. Sorry, 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 not VSG. Uh, here's the output. Uh, yeah, 
so i will just press escape and then go to uh, here adl and i am going to remove these two all right and now i am going to select uh, outputs and uh, to be plotted selectron schematic so now see in nvos we selected the drain terminal but here we are supplying voltage vsg and vsg so if we select this drain terminal then we will get the uh, plot in the negative axis so uh, to better understanding of plot we can select the source terminal all right uh, i will show you the uh, drain terminal as well first let us simulate the source terminal and now when we click on simulate you can see we get the id uh, versus your vsg graph all right so now let us select your source terminal as well so here again i am going to select outputs to be plotted and select on schematic here i selected my source terminal uh, sorry drain terminal all right and here you can see now both source and drain both are uh, ready to be plotted so i am just going to run and see we will see both the graphs are plotted both the plots are in the same graph so you can see here it is starting from zero uh, your id versus vsg and then this uh, id versus vds this thing uh, it is going into a negative direction all right so uh, this is the id versus vsg characteristics for pmos similarly what you can do is you can plot id versus vsg characteristics and you can do uh, the parametric analysis which we did for the nmos all right so i suggest uh, you try it on your own okay and if you have any doubt in that uh, you can watch the previous videos the steps are almost the same all right so uh, there was just um, um, minimal change in this pmos circuit design because it is a pmos that's why i made this video i hope it is clear okay uh, if you still have any doubt you can write in the comment section so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video